This video is to show you how to set up the traditional geometric construction assignment for uh, AEDD 105 at Southern Maine Community College. You're going to do nine geometric constructions. I'd like you to do a layout that has a title block inserted. I'd like nine equally sized viewports. I'm going to show you how to do that. And you can do that in advance and then draw each of your constructions in that viewport. So I'll go back over to AutoCAD. Start a new drawing. I'm going to go and create a few layers. One layer I'm going to create is going to be called Construction. And I'm going to give that a color that's distinctive. So let's go with um, Magenta. I'm also going to create a layer for Object Lines. And that's going to be black. And the line weight on that is going to be 0.4 so that it's twice as thick as the other ones. And I'm also going to, I think I'll leave it at that. All right, now, first thing I want you to do is go to a layout. You pick the layout button in the lower left hand corner, right click, go to rename, and let's give this one a name. So I'll call this geometric construction. Now right click on that tab again by moving your arrow down. Go to Page Setup Manager. We're going to modify the page setup so that you can plot this on one of the plotters. The plotter I want you to select is double backslash printer backslash TGDS, Technical Graphics Design Student. Leave it set to letter. Change the plot style table from none to monochrome. Pick OK. And now you have a sheet of paper that you can print onto. We're going to delete the viewport that's there. Now I want you to use the insert command. Type I for insert. Go to the Browse button, and you're going to go to the R drive. On the R drive, there's a folder called General. In that folder are a number of title blocks, including another folder called Title Blocks from 105 Directory. Go in there, go to Title Blocks, and we'll use a mechanical title block. The mechanical title block I want you to use is A size, Imperial, or Metric. Bring it in at 000. zero, zero at a scale of 1 at a rotation angle of 0. So when you pick OK, it should give you a dialog box because there are attributes that were added to this title block. This was created here. And so the title of this is going to be Geometric Construction, uppercase letters only. Uh, the date will be whatever date you created this. I'll go and put a date in there. Scale is going to be NTS, not to scale. Um, it may actually change. We'll change it later on if we have to. We're going to try a 1 to 2 scale, but it might not work for every one of them. Drawn by is going to be your name. Instructor is going to be the instructor's name. Uh, course is going to be AEDD 105. And the section is going to be whatever section you are. If you're in section 01, you would put an 01. Now you pick OK. Now you notice what happens is a title block drops into place. When that title block drops into place, looks like geometric construction didn't just quite it fit in there. So I'm going to double click on the title block and I'm going to change geometric construction to geometric con just to make the title fit in. Also notice that there's one field that says general title blocks from, and it looks like um, that is also too long to fit in here. And that's because it's using the path for the title block I just brought in. So we'll go up to File, Save As. And when I do a Save As, I can now put this in a location. I'm going to put it in my own student folder. which is right here, and I'll call this Geometric Construction. I'll just call it Geometric. Now what happens now is that the path and the name change because that field is keeping track of that. you are also notice that although you're going to put a date in when this drawing is done, there is a field down here that will update to the date that you created this and the time that you say. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to change my layer to the construction line layer. And I'm going to draw a line that goes across the top. I have to turn object snaps on. It goes across the top of the title block itself. And I'll draw another line coming down to here. And I'm going to use AutoCAD's divide command. 
and divide will allow me to take an existing entity and divide it into an equal number of segments. So I'm going to say divide that into three segments. Then coming over here, we'll divide that into three segments as well. And just so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to go to the format pull down, point style, and I'll change point style from a single pixel to an X so you can see what those X's are. Now the purpose of this is for me to be able to draw a viewport. MView is the name that you'll type, or uh, the alias you'll type to get a viewport. And what I want to do is go from that node to that node. So shift right click. Points are called nodes, so I'll pick that one. Shift right click. Again I'll pick node and pick that one. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another layer for viewports, which I would have done before. So I'll call it viewports and I'm going to make that layer yellow. So we're not going to be able to see them very well on a white background, but it'll be okay. So I'm going to change that viewport so that it's on the viewports layer. Now I'm going to copy it so that it goes from here to here to here. Now I've got three viewports that I can make active. Now I'm going to copy all of them, going back to paper space. I'm going to copy all three of them so that they match up like this. And what I have now is nine equally sized viewports that I can use as little model spaces. So I'm going to pick this one. And actually, before I copy them, let me do one thing. I'm going to back up to like just have one viewport. Now I'm going to change the scale of that viewport from that random size to one to two. And then I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to copy. Now I'm going to copy it so that I have nine equal viewports. All right, now the reason I did that is now each one of them is set to a one to two scale. And now I can go in and draw some lines and then get ready to do my construction. Um, the first one just had you draw a line at a random length at a random angle. So when we do that, you'll notice the same thing shows up in each one. Then you go to another viewport, unlock it, and then pan to the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of lines that I can use to, um, maybe I'll pan a little more to the right. All right. Now these again, these are random lines. In this case, it's an acute angle, and I'm going to connect those with a, um, an arc. I can lock that now go back over to the next one, unlock it, go to another location in that model space, lock my viewport again, draw two more lines. These are going to be an obtuse, obtuse angle. Um, so the, what I'm doing right now is to set myself up so that I can create each one of these geometric constructions. And then I would go in and I'd make the viewport active, so I'm in model space. In this particular case, I'm going to offset through. No, I'm not. I'm going to offset to a layer. I'm going to go to the uh, current layer. So let me check my current layer. I'm going to set it to construction. Now I'm going to offset one from here to here and from here to here. And what I'm doing is when I've got the two lines, they both represent one inch away. And this is when I then go back in and say, let's go to the intersection. Let's draw a one inch circle. And then you're going to trim it up. There's a video in each one of these construction techniques. If you can't fit what you want to do in a one to two scale, then you just have to change the scale. When you're all done, you'll go to the plot command. Plot is already set up. You'll just pick OK and it'll print out in the print area and you can go pick it up.